Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important concept in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching TV and logic design course is complements. First of all, what is the reason for developing complements? Complements are mainly used for representing the negative numbers. Now, first suppose we have to perform the subtraction operation. So, subtraction operation cost is more when compared to the addition operation. That means, addition operation takes less cost when compared to the subtraction operation. Now, this subtraction operation can be converted into addition operation to reduce the cost. 75 plus minus 37. Okay, here the subtraction operation can be converted into addition operation. Now, how to represent this negative number? To represent this negative number, we have to use complements. So, that means complements are mainly used for representing negative numbers. Okay. So, generally, two's complement is used for representing the negative numbers. Now, we can take any number system there are two types of complements are available that are first one is R's complement, second one is R minus 1's complement. R's complement is called as radix complement, whereas R minus 1's complement can be called as diminished radix complement. Now, what is the formula we have to use? To find out R's complement. That is R power N base 10 minus N. By using this formula, we can find out any complement of a given number. R is nothing but base over a radix. N is nothing but number of digits in the given number. Capital N is nothing but given number. So, by using this formula, we can find out any complement of any number system. Whereas, in the case of formula for finding out R minus 1's complement is R power N base 10 minus 1 minus N. Here, R is nothing but base or a radix. N is nothing but number of digits in the given number. N is nothing but capital N is nothing but given number. By using this formula, we can find out any complement of any number. Now, suppose if R value is equal to 2, that means base for our radix value is equal to 2, then R's complement can be called as 2's complement, R minus 1's complement can be called as 1's complement. If R is equal to 8, that means base or a radix is equal to 8, then R's complement can be called as 8's complement, R minus 1's complement can be called as 7's complement. Next one. If R value is equal to 10, that means base for a radix is equal to 10, then R's complement can be called as 10's complement, R minus 1's complement can be called as my's complement. Fourth one, if R value is equal to 16, that means base for a radix is equal to 16, then R's complement can be called as a 16's complement, whereas R minus 1's complement can be called as 15's complement. Now, we can see uh, some examples. Okay. Find nice complement of
फोर थर्टी फाइव बेस टेन ओके सो नाउ वी कैन सी दिस वन वी कैन टेक the base over our radix is equal to 10 what is the maximum possible number can be put here in terms of three digits so that is 9 9 9 this is the maximum number that we can put here when the base value is equal to 10 okay now we have to find out the nice complement by subtracting each and every digit of the given number from three nines so that is 9 9 9 4 3 so 9 5 that is 4 9 3 that is 6 9 4 that is 5 so 5 64 is the nice complement of 435 with base 10 now What is the tens complement of 435 base 10? Okay, so we know that tens complement is equal to is equal to nice complement plus one. What is the nice complement? That is 564 plus one. That is equal to 565 base 10. Okay. so this is the simple shortcut procedure for finding out the nice complement of the given number by using the formula also we have to find out the nice complement okay next one we can take another example find the Seven's complement of two thirty-five base seven. Okay. So now, whenever base value is seven, what is the maximum value that we have to substitute here in terms of three bits? That is six six six. Okay. That is the maximum value that we have substituted here. Okay. Now, first we have to find out the seventh complement. So, subtracting each and every digit of the given number. So this is eight. Sorry, this is eight. Find the seventh complement of two thirty-five base eight. Okay. Whenever the base value is eight, what is the maximum value that we have to put here in terms of three bits? Because the given problem contains three bits, so the maximum number that we have to put here is triple seven. Now. Each and every digit of the given number can be subtracted from seven seven seven. So that means seven 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 two thirty five. Seven minus five two. Seven minus three four. Seven minus two five. So five four two is the seventh complement of two thirty five base eight. Now. What is the eighth complement of given number? So eighth complement of two thirty-five base eight is equal to seventh complement of two thirty-five base eight. That is five forty-two plus one. That is equal to five forty-three base eight. So this is the eighth complement of this given number. This is the seventh complement of This given number. In this way, we have to find out any complement. Now we can take another example. So find the fifteenth complement of 
फिफ्टींथ कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ सो ए सी डी टू बेस सिक्सटीन सो वेन एवर हियर द बेस वैल्यू इज अक्सटीन वट इज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू दट वी हैव टू पुट हियर इन टर्म्स ऑफ फोर बेस सो दट इज maximum value is 15 15 can be represented in terms of hexadecimal number is f now we have to subtract each and every digit of the given number from f so i am taking four f's f is nothing but 15 a c d 2 okay f value is 15 15 minus 2 That is a thirteen. Thirteen means d in hexadecimal number. Next, f value is fifteen. D value is thirteen. Fifteen minus thirteen, so that is two. Next, f value is fifteen. C value is twelve. Fifteen minus twelve, that is a three. Next one, f value is fifteen and a value is ten. Fifteen minus ten, so that is five. Okay, five three two d. is the 15th complement of this given number now what is the 16th complement so 16th complement is nothing but so 15th complement plus 1 so that means 532d plus 1 here d value is a 13 13 plus 1 that is 14 14 means that is e remaining is 532e So five three two e is the sixteenth complement of A C D two base sixteen and fifteenth complement of A C D two is equal to five three two d. So in this way we have to use the shortcut method to find out any complement of the given number. Okay. So I am giving our uh, two homework problems. so first one is find the ones complement of ones complement of 101101 base 2 and the second one is so find the five complement of five complement of Two four three two base six. Okay, these two problems you can solve and put your answers in the comment box. I will uh, check whether they are correct or not. Okay, I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really understand this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Devela Srinivas Rao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, so click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, Manandal, for watching this video.